It's Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. This is the third and final video using Fusion 360 with the end result being a 3D printed fidget spinner toy. Uh, in here we're going to put the bearing, 22 millimeter diameter bearing. We're accounting for shrinkage. Uh, we, we spoke about it before. These sizes here you can change to whatever size you want for the, depending on the coins you're going to use. Mine are set up for nickels. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Last time we were here I rotated I made this extruded it through. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to continue. And again, my expectation from your students, if you're my students watching this video, is not that you replicate this exact thing that I'm doing and hand it in. Again, I'm hoping that you use some creativity. I'm just showing you how to do, do a few things and then you can fly on your own. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select, come down here, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to edit the sketch. Then I'm going to use the control key and hold it down. I'm going to select that, this, this one, and this one. And I'm going to come up here to sketch. I'm going to use the circular pattern. I've selected four lines on the sketch. And now I have to tell it the center point of the circle that I want it to revolve around. Click on that, come down into here, and I select that one. Now it automatically takes in three. Oh, it wants to make three, so it jumps to three, makes the assumption you can make two, you can make one, however you like. You can grab this thing and move it around. Right now I'm going to leave it like that. Click OK, click Stop Sketch. Bring it down, and now I'm going to extrude and cut those things out. So we're going to modify, press pull, or I can just come over here and right click, press pull. Scroll in, make sure you got the right thing selected. Uh, you can see there I have now, you can see it's right over top. We're going to cut and just grab that and bring it right down through like that. Click OK, and it cuts the hole. And we have to do the same thing over here. And now we can't see our sketch tool, so we're going to click the sketch, turn the sketch back on. See that? See what happened there? Can't see the sketch. You know it was there two seconds ago. All the sketches are selected. So you just drop down menu, click the sketch tool. It may or may not turn it off. Same thing again, right click, press pull, select this, make sure you select the right thing. I go here to a cut again, bring it down through, cut her off, boom. So there I have it. It's been uh, modified nicely. I've got the chamfer going in here. I've got the radiuses on it. Again, you can Use your creativity. You can change shapes, sizes. You can make these points out here instead. You can. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. Um, make a nice one. Top view of it there. Back to the isometric view. Now what I want to do is I want to save it so I can go on my 3D printer. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to come up. There's a couple of different ways you can do the stereolithography STL file. You can come in here and you can actually if you didn't have a 3D printer, you can actually get a quote from people to print it for you. There's different selections down through here, which is kind of neat. Or you can print 3D. If you have a 3D printer all set up with this software, you can click right there and it communicates directly to the 3D printer. I don't, so what I'm going to do is I come over here and right-click, click on it, and then right-click on it. You see it all turn blue, and you're going to go save as STL. Save as an STL. STL. Click OK. What that does is it makes a bunch of little triangles for you. I'm just going to put it on the desktop somewhere. And then it's really smart to do this. See, it's got version 6. So you save version 6, and then you go and try it, and maybe the coins fall out because you didn't account for the, 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 the uh, expansion and contraction of plastic. So then you got to go back and modify the, the existing file again, and then you got to go back to the STL. And you don't want to spend a half an hour or an hour printing something to re and only to realize that you are printing the wrong level. So I'm a big fan of this. I go Spinner 2, and you can see it's V6, version 6. So I know when I save it, this is going to come up. And I'm, I know that when I go to the 3D printer, I've got the correct one. So I don't, again, print it and realize it's wrong. Okay, so that's the third and final one. The expectation of my students is not to simply hand this one in because that won't yield you the marks and results that you want. This is simply, this video is simply to show you how to get started.